Wild Under Thieves looks so defeated. Okay, so Wild Under Thieves does have Kai'Sa, which is broken. And the only way to beat Kai'Sa, I think, in draft, uh, without just being considerably better than the opponents, is to have a dragon stack in comp, which obviously energy doesn't have, so it's a little rough. Why isn't Kai'Sa just permaban? I don't know. I feel like people don't evaluate what's actually causing them to lose games. I think that their emotions about, like, facing LeBlanc and her being annoying is, is like, what drives LeBlanc getting banned more than Kai'Sa, even though LeBlanc is obviously infinitely easier to answer. Who's winning in draft? I mean, it's it's very heavily favoring 100 Thieves. Oh my god, it's the big brown croc! Oh my lord, the love of my life. There he is. So, 100 Thieves, unfortunately, does have a better draft FlyQuest. I know that doesn't bode well for us, but, uh, you know, that is how it goes. That is how it goes. Anyways, uh, yeah, fl uh, so, fl so FlyQuest need 100 Thieves to lose this game, but 100 Thieves has a much better draft. So, let's see what's gonna end up happening. Also, when the mini- when the mid-game approaches, we're gonna count Kai'Sa W's. Okay, so good news for FlyQuest is Doublelift started with Longsword instead of Call. Well, there's no one- there's no one actually stronger in the game except uh, unless you watched my Ramus. He didn't need to flash. He didn't need to flash. He didn't need to flash. Well, he's bad to. He's bad to. I mean, he's bad to play when Kaisa exists in her current form. Okay. Nice shock blast by Quid. Oh, uh, nice Sorkan. Oh, 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 but Ignar actually blocked the W. Lucio flies back. Everyone's missing everything. Oh my God. Okay, it's one for. Okay, Quid. Quid's still there. Wait, why did he? Okay. Oh, nice shot class. Nice shot. Oh, Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker again. Heartbreaker. 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 He doesn't have flash. What are you doing? What? That was so weird. I mean, they get it in the end, but that was so weird. Guys, it's not over for FlyQuest. NRG's got this, guys. NRG's got this. Okay, so NRG... I mean, all right, this is also really good. Palafox unironically just went Crown of the Shattered Queen versus Static Shiv, Kai'Sa, and Jace. Yeah, I think I think Crown is actually... Yeah, I think it's really good. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Winnable, winnable, winnable. Winnable. FlyQuest, winnable. What 100 Thieves problems uh, do you mean? Well, I mean, they, they have a million problems with their decision makings on, like, objective fights and laning phase and <clears throat> drafting. I think their draft philosophy is one of the worst in the entire league. Which was actually really funny because Doublelift was, like, the first person that realized uh, in spring that Jinx is just the GOAT. You know what I mean? Chat, I'm obviously impression farming by being in here true. NRG can only beat top teams. Yeah, that's how it, that's how it works. Or, you know, a stun from Renek or whatever that can actually be game changing it really i have a lot of value he's just got to be sure to not get it poked off by a shiv or some okay. like garbage spell why is crown troll versus kaisa and jace because they're ranged and they proc it off you very quickly and then it doesn't do anything if your argument is that the ehp from the spell that it blocks is valuable then i guess you should just go rot of ages picking up a freebie yeah, that was a NRG good can't beat really bad teams. For, for True. Kind of bad. All right, moment of truth for double lift. Does he buy a dagger and does he go towards Ludens? Oh my God! Look at it! Look at the the, the, the tenacity. Okay, I don't understand why the TPs are coming out. What are we fighting over? There's no Baron possible. The fight was disengaged. Why are we TPing? Chocolate Mer? Would you coach a Saudi Arabia team for the right amount? I mean, I can't go to Saudi Arabia. It's illegal for me to be in Saudi Arabia. I can't actually go. It's, it's like not possible for me to go. Yeah. It is illegal. What do you mean? I'm gay. Having those flankers in him. Busio's coming from top. Quid has been spotted though. It's Palafox illegal. Looking for him. Wait, what? Shuffles back. Quid. It looked like it he missed flashed. originally. But I think the only way. Oh, hold on. Big engage. Double lift into the backside. Two autos. Three autos. Oh my lord. Now obviously he doesn't even have a mythic yet, but fine. 
the wall, but closer is ready to chase the remaining players. He's looking for Dokla, and with the void seeker getting It's illegal to show love like PDA. Yeah, but I mean, you never want to put yourself in a situation where people can just claim random things. Like, what's to say, like, me waving at someone and they're like, ah, oh, that's PDA. You were clearly showing affection towards that male. And then it's like you're you're in the middle of like in Saudi Arabian law, and then they're just trying to claim something, and then you have to wait for the U.S. Embassy to, like, try to bail you out, and then you just get used as a f***ing pawn in some political scheme, where, like, you know, Saudi Arabia gets something in exchange for your release, and you're just in prison for f***ing two years. Like, like, what are we saying? But, yeah, I do think it's worthwhile if you're gonna be free-firing on those frontliners. Dokla level 14 starting to upgrade some items here, too. Contracts needs to be careful, because 100 Thieves is sending everything at the enemy jungler when they found him. Now Bootsio's ready to collapse, and FBI Explodes. Okay. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're jungle, good. And it's Wily Andres and not Ludens. Wily Andres and not Ludens. Um, so because... Not so, Ludens... No I, I mean, this the Andre, because there's Jace, the and then there's Kai'Sa, and the opponents have no interaction against the range that both these champions have, the Andres gives you more haste, and it gives you the burn, and the enemy team has multiple HP stackers. So, Leandres when you're becoming basically Zareth's mother, is just going to deal more damage. Now, in the event that, you know, Sejuani and Orin would get melee on top of Kai'Sa, sure, her passive, depending on how many times she procs it, could benefit more from Ludens, because the Leandris isn't allowed to tick. Uh, now it's a 5k that would make here. sense. Oh, FlyQuest are going to have a long have winter, man. As they do, My god. They can start to threaten the dive on this bot side, so... This is actually it's crazy. To sound the it's horn, so the fucking crazy. I... Thieves stop the energy play in its tracks. They don't even need some Look, to there's no it. there's He's no excuse lane, to ever finish way. this bad in NA. The there's no excuse. So we'll there's absolutely none. If you guys that. heard me talk about Revan and why I think that Revan was able to do what he did with TSM. It could give you a window to turn the game around, and I think that is what energy is going to be depending on. I can't say certain on. things. I just After can't say certain things. I can't. They weren't I able can't. To get the kills they wanted. Just not. There's no. It's, there's summers, no excuse, man, to not make playoffs in this so region. Oh my god. Yeah, he just stuck to forcing themes. When he goes back but to also, base. the way that they practice and prep. It feels is like just, the walls are tumbling it, it's down very based energy, in like and logic. And gold lead um, with I mean, if you guys have heard on Revan on the stream, he was like a banger at MSI. Him, him and Crowny. Am I watching T1 Hunger Life Esports later? Yes, I am. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, uh, no. The tenacity, actually, is kind of nuts from uh, Chemtech Drake. And now they're about to get sold. Look, 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 look. look. Uh, I wish that we counted double lifts W's. You guys see how many W's he's, he's just throwing? Wait, wait, wait. They might win. They might win. They might win. They might win. Oh, my God. They might win. Oh, my God. God, NRG could win, dude. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Double lift literally has trash item, and so Kaisa is actually not as strong as she should be. Because look at this. I mean, you can't auto as f***ing Kaisa in, the, in this team comp, man. We have to go and count double lift's W's, by the way. I need to count double lift's W's. Okay, so Azir pops his elixir before the fight starts. Brilliant. The ornaments are a little, a little gross, yeah. Wait. Closer. Closer, another beautiful play, and now Energy's got to try to fight back, but they've already lost FBI. They've lost Palafox. They've lost the game. Hundred Thieves took the objective and took the fight, and they're about to take themselves straight to the playoffs. Hundred Thieves pull it off. They're gonna take down Energy here. Someday's already TP down towards bot side. They are going to secure their spot here in playoffs and knock FlyQuest out in the process. Closer with a redemption game. 10 out of 15 kill participation here on the Viego. He started the game off with his first, first blood of the split. He had all of the kills there at the start. He never died a single time. That's so gross. And he stole the Baron to win the game uh, and clinch the playoff spot. Fire out of playoffs. My man just spent the whole